Alright guys, it's time to edit. Time to edit. And we're going to try to go fast for sake of time. So this is going to be... This is going real time video editing, and that will be time video editing. No, we don't need all this. Do video schedule real time video editing. Come on, skip you, skip you, skip you. YouTube videos, YouTube videos, real time video editing, real time video editing, editing lessons, Adobe, Premiere. This isn't really lessons, but tutorials. Uh, da, 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 da. Audio editing, photo editing. YouTube editing, <clears throat> whatever, that's good for now. Real-time video editing, what are we doing? We are doing the government is poisoning. poisoning you? How about that? <laughs> it's kind of catchy. Alright, let's take all this, copy it, paste it, save it, <clears throat> and now let's open up Premiere from scratch. We have a video here. Where's Premiere? It's not opening up. Is it opening up? Alright, let's go back to our video. Back to our video. Which is somewhere on our channel. Alright, we're going to have to pick up the pace here now. Pick up the pace. We're going to get going. We're going to get this done with. I had um, one of my editors pre-edit this for me and I just told him what clips to mesh together. And so he gave me a long 20, over 20 minute video, and I'm just going to chop it down. So, <clears throat> new project, the government is poisoning you, and we'll copy this. It's got to be maybe a better title. How about like... Food, food, the government, and population control, <clears throat> food, poison, government, population control. <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Those are good key words. Food. Poison. Hmm. Governmental food. Poisoning. Poisoning. Population control. How is that better than the government is poisoning you? The government is poisoning you. Governmental food poisoning and population control. <clears throat> Poison. The government is poisoning you. We'll have that as a sub <clears throat> text. <coughs> Excuse me. Subtitle for now. 
we're going to put it in our sequence or sequence settings or our set on the DSL R presets. I'm going to expand everything. Um, DSLR presets with um, pixel aspect ratio, square pixels, frame rate 29.97 frames, which is what the DSLR is shooting, frame size 1920 by 1080. And so we want to make sure we start off with the right settings. The government is poisoning you. Governmental food poison and population control. There we go. <clears throat> now we will expand this. And we're just going to test our stream really quick, see if we can hear our own annoying voice, which we can. And let me just come back over to here, play this video for a second. And then I'm sure it's also going to be used to push an agenda against so-called hate speech. What is this? This is not right. This is not the right video. Poisoning the well, Pastor Stephen Anderson. What is this? Christian response to the Orlando Master. Okay. Well, we don't need that. We need to look for government. Where's the video? Where's my video? Seriously? Sort by date. Maybe I didn't get my video. I literally gotta go on and get my video. I downloaded it. I downloaded it and it's not, it's not there. Okay, well, let's go to the Google Drive then. <clears throat> go to the recents. Go to the government is selling poison. Government is selling poison to us. Okay, download. My friends, download. the information that you are about to witness from all of my years right of research the videos is the most right here. Save it. It's been hidden in plain view the entire time. And let's check this our stream. Check our stream. We're that's not our stream. This is our stream. Back it up a little bit. Alright, we're good. We're good to go. We're good to go. Alright, so... <clears throat> if all worked correctly, the video should be here, and it's not... Here, here it is. Still downloading. All right, it's still downloading. Show all. Where's this one? Show in folder. Oh, it's ended up on the desktop. So I'm gonna exit it out. I'm gonna save it in our. Samples folder. Move it over to the samples folder. We can actually get out of here. Clear all. All right, it's in the samples folder. I'm gonna pull it into this project. And it fit right in. <coughs> we take the second one I <clears throat> download it and delete it. I don't need a duplicate of it. <clears throat> so I did I did originally download it. it. Just went it just went to a folder I wasn't aware of. Alright, so I'm gonna drag out my timeline so I can look at stuff. And now this this should be a simple session. So let's begin. My friends, the information that you are about to witness from all of my years of research is the most important. It's been hidden in plain view the entire time. This is the ultimate secret that's about to be exposed.
On December 11, 2006, the New York Times wrote the article, Has Politics Contaminated the Food Supply? In it they said, This fall has brought plenty of bad news about food poisoning. More than 200 people in 26 states were sickened and three people were killed by spinach contaminated with E. coli. At least 183 people in 21 states got salmonella from tainted tomatoes served at restaurants. And more than 160 people in New York, New Jersey, and other states were sickened with E. coli after eating at Taco Bell restaurants. I have hundreds of government documents, textbooks, white papers, where for over 80 years, the elite of the Western world have talked about adulterating food and water to sicken and sterilize the population for the purpose of eugenics. It's all covered in the book Eco-Science, written by the White House science czar John P. Holdren, where they talk about a planetary police state to carry out the forced sterilization. They also talk about covert systems in the water and food to sterilize the population. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 76 million Americans are sickened, 325,000 are hospitalized, and 5,000 die each year because of something they ate. People are always going to get food poisoning. The idea that every meal... <clears throat> All right. Chicken and... Eco-science, written by the... At Taco Bell restaurants. I have. I'm going to cut here because he's answering a question. We'll cut here. And I think I'm going to pull this out. E. coli after eating at Taco Bell restaurants. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 76 million Americans are sickened at Taco Bell restaurants. According to that doesn't need the the stat the static, so we're just gonna cut the static back, cut the static back, shrink it, crossfade it. This is gonna have static if I don't put it there. Bell restaurants. According to the Centers for Disease Restaurants. According to the centers for restaurants. According um the music, but it's okay. At Taco Bell restaurants. According to the centers for disease control. Or maybe start here. No, that's not gonna work. No, that's it. This is all we got to work with. Restaurants. According to the centers for disease control and can shrink this a little more. According to the take off the static sound. According to the center, can buy a little more time now over here. Restaurants. According to the centers for disease. Restaurants. According to the centers for disease control and prevention, 76 million Americans are sickened. 325,000 are hospitalized, and 5,000 die each year because of something they ate. People are always going to get food poisoning. The idea that every meal can be risk-free, germ-free, and sterile is the sort of fantasy Howard Hughes might have entertained. But our, our food can be much safer than it is right now. Well. Okay, so that was an unnecessary clip. Because... It's the sort of it's just not it's kind of obvious and we're not trying to uh, say we're not trying to argue this point people are always going to get food poisoning. it's kind of obvious and we don't need to argue that we want to make this be as creepy as possible in the opening which this might even be a better clip to start with we are the anonymous it's so creepy. You are anonymous. Your food is poison. So let's take this anonymous clip or some of it. We are anonymous. Your food is poison. 
The US government is allowing all of its citizens to be poisoned. Women, children, and entire families. Before we show you proof and examples, you must ask yourself why? Why is the government allowing large corporations to poison the people of the United States and beyond? How can multi-million dollar corporations Okay, we could take this clip here and see now then you have the Alex Jones that comes after him. And beyond. I have hundreds of government documents, textbooks, white papers, where for over 80 years the elite of the Western world have talked about adulterating food and water to sicken and sterilize the population for the purpose of eugenics. It's all covered in the book Ecoscience, written by the White House science czar John P. Holder. They talk about a planetary police state to carry out the forced sterilization. They also talk about covert systems in the water and food. Wait, I'm curious. I'm going to shut this fan off. Try to get a little quieter, and I'm going to say, Alexa, what is eugenics? Okay, so it's all uh, it's all tied in with evolution now, isn't it? Darwinism. All right, so I understand. So now we have another clip we'll have to add in here. Uh, and that clip is going to be in the Tech Times, and it's going to be Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins. Since Darwin's time, plenty of things that are all the It is, in fact, we believe that science is against of intermediates in evolution. There is a massive amount of evidence. All right, it's this one. Or this one, rather. This is the one I need. Now, you can have your belief. So to the liberal socialist society, in fact. A society that was based on Darwinian principles would be a ruthless free market economy in which the rich trample the poor, uh, in which um, it would be sort of an opposite of a liberal socialist society, in fact. I'm, in, I'm against poor. There we go. A, a society that was based on Darwinian principles would be a, which is which departs from Darwinian which will be a non-Darwinian society. It will be the sort of society which is which departs from Darwinian principles. A, a society that was based on Darwinian principles would be... That's what we need right here. ...very unpleasant world. Darwinian world. That's what George Bush kind of society, if I can put it like that, or, or Margaret Thatcher kind of society. I do, I do not wish to live in a Darwinian world. It's a very unpleasant world. It's a thoroughly unpleasant world. Not the kind of world we wish to live in. So let us be a society which is... There we go. That's all I need. So, we'll put him right here. Talk about covert systems. And then, you know what? Let's just see if we can find something on eugenics really quick. How do you even spell that? Eugenics. Eugenics in America, interesting. Interesting. What is, you know what? I know what I want to find. Eugenics and evolution. Evolution and eugenics. Here we go. I think I found it. Here we go. This is what I want. We're gonna say abortion is legal. Here we go. Take this. Abortion is legal. 
That doesn't make it right. You know, 1936, the German Supreme Court declared Jews are not persons. That was the decision that opened the way for Jews to be murdered. After all, they're not a person, so you can't be guilty of murder. You weren't killed one. It's like the basis of all that is worse than All right, here we go. All right, we got what we needed. I'm pretty sure we got what we needed. Right click, show in folder, some of my samples, perfecto, this is, this is actually the meat of, of the argument I believe, it was right here. So, gotcha, we got you right here, and we want to start off strong, it starts off really strong, so we actually want to start off strong right here like this, alright, we're going to start off with edit paste anonymous so you got the intro now see the audio fade could have been better there but it's fine it's all right it works not how i would have done it but it works it worked it's just the, the other audio abruptly stops and you can almost see it's the wave. The audio from the left right here, you can see the wave. And then right here in this area, kind of cuts off. Gone, it's gone right here. When this comes in, I would have faded them just a little more overlapping. So that didn't, that, that sound wouldn't stop on the left on the left here right where this see this sound wouldn't stop until about the hit right here so let's actually see if we can change that cross this cut this out and then pull in our effects and pull in the cross dissolve Actually, you know what? I'm going to need more than a cross. I'm going to need this whole clip to like right. Oh, like right here ish. And then I'll put the cross dissolve on this side to hit right about here. Already, already sounds better. And I'll put my cross fade on this side. I think it's already there. There it is. Back this up just a little. Yeah, that's fine. This can be... The other one is showing underneath it. That's the problem. So this needs to be here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. We are anonymous. Your food is poison. We are anonymous. Your food is poison. The US government is allowing all of its citizens to be poisoned. This one, I would just probably um, go to the uniform scale and uncheck it, and then click on the motion and drag it out like. That. Let me scale it again. We'll see what happens if we drag it like this. And then don't want to cut off his head, so we'll just bring it down some over here. And so it'd be like 113. There we go. Let's try that. We are anonymous. Your food is poison. The US government is allowing all of its citizens to be poisoned. Women, children, and entire families. Before we show you proof and examples, you must ask yourself why? Why is the government allowing large corporations to poison the people of the United States and beyond? I have hundreds of government documents, textbooks, white papers, where for over 80 years, the elite of the Western world 
have talked about adulterating food and water to sicken and sterilize the population for the purpose of eugenics. It's all covered in the book Ecoscience, written by the White House science czar John P. Holdren, where they talk about a planetary police state to carry out the forced sterilization. They also talk about covert systems in the water and food to sterilize the population. A society that was based on Darwinian principles would be a ruthless free market economy in which the rich trample the poor. On December 11th, 2006, the New York Times wrote the article, Has Politics Contaminated the Food Supply? In it, they said, This fall has brought plenty of bad news Darwin is a little weird there. Um, Darwin, I said Darwin. Dawkins is a little weird there. I don't know if it fits, but let's keep checking. This, I don't like the, the length of these facts. Paul. On December 11th, 2006, I'll just cut here. The New York Times wrote the article as politics. Contaminated. Right here. The New York Times wrote the article. The New York Times wrote the article. Has politics contaminated the food supply? In it, they said. This fall has brought plenty. Just have it where it says 2006. Two thousand six. Two thousand and six. The New York Times wrote the article Has Politics Contaminated the Food Supply. So right here I have hundreds of government. A decision that was based on Darwinian principles. Let me see what he says over here. This is going to take longer than I thought. I do not wish to live in a Darwinian world. It's a very unpleasant world. It's a thoroughly unpleasant world. Not the kind of world we wish to live in. So let us construct the kind of society in which we wish to live, which will be a non-Darwinian society. It will be the sort of society which is which departs from Darwinian principles. Okay, let's see. Let's watch this. They're going to say, abortion is legal. It doesn't make it right. You know, 1936, the German Supreme Court declared Jews are not persons. That was the decision that opened the way for Jews to be murdered. After all, they're not a person, so you can't be guilty. That. How's that? After you opened the way, that was the 1936. Right here. 1936, the German Supreme Court declared Jews. Alright, we need to affect the volumes. Gonna affect this volume here, so what we're gonna do is. See how low the volume is? It's actually not horribly low, but I'm gonna just slap on. Here's my go to effect setup the EQ. I put it on loudness, and what it does is it creates this little. Um, wave where it the lows are up the low mids and the mids kind of dip down then the high mids peak back up and then smooth over on the, the highs and it just gives it a boost in the bass and the treble and then I go to multiband compressor and I usually slap on a plus six or plus eight let's try plus six Weapon against traditional religion. Let's try plus eight. See, traditional religion like Christianity. You know, the meters are way better, way higher here. And he says, nobody's better because of the All right, so let's just get this clip right here. In 1936, the German Supreme Court declared Jews are not persons. That was the decision that opened the way for Jews to be murdered. After all, they're not a person, so you can't be guilty of murder. You want to kill one. I've been to Germany three times. I read lots of books about Hitler and the Holocaust just to keep my blood boiling. Cut right here. Hitler did what he did because of his belief in evolution. He th there we go. He thought he was helping out. 
He thought the Germans were the superior race. They deserved to rule the world. There we go. Hitler wanted to make the practice of Germany conform to the theory of evolution. Hitler offered to send the Jews to anybody who would take them. You know, Roosevelt refused to let the Jews come to America in 1938. Hitler offered to send the Jews to anybody who would take them. You know, Roosevelt refused to let the Jews come to America in 1938. They could have been saved, folks. Our president wouldn't let them come. Hitler's book, Mein Kampf, showed his evolutionary thinking, which he had probably since he was a boy. This guy says evolutionary ideas lie at the basis of all that is worst in Mein Kampf. Hitler said it was the duty of the strong to trample the weak. He said, I have enough. Here we go. Hitler, Hitler said it was the duty of the strong to trample the weak. That's all we need there. Come to America in 1938. Evolution. Hitler, Hitler offered to send the Jews to anybody who would. Here we go. That's all we need there. He thought the Germans were the superior race. They deserved. After all, they're not a person, so you can't be guilty, guilty of murder or kill one. Hitler did what he did because of his belief. Hitler did what he did because of his belief. He said, I have the right to exterminate an inferior race that breed like the vermin. Okay. He have the strong to... Here we go. Put that over here. This is interesting. Hitler said the single most, uh, singled out the idea of biological evolution as the most forced weapon against traditional religion. See, traditional religion, like Christianity says, nobody's better. Be single most, uh, singled out the idea of biological evolution as the most. Hitler said the single most, uh, singled out the idea of bio. Singled out the idea of biological. Hitler said the. Hitler said Go. Cut. Cut. Hitler singled off the idea of Hitler singled off the idea of Bring this in. Hitler singled off the idea of biological evolution as the most forced weapon against traditional religion. See, traditional religion, like Christianity says, nobody's better because of the color of their skin. Hitler didn't like that idea. He said, nature doesn't like the blending of a higher with a lower race. He kept talking about Aryan blood and lower peoples. Who's a lower people, Adolf? Well, I found Hitler's hit list. I read lots of books about Hitler. Hitler thought the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Norwegians were close to pure Aryan, the superior race. Did you follow all that? Blonde hair, blue-eyed, Norwegian. Vor is Lord, it is ah, y'all sure you betcha. Oof, the hair is all. He thought the Germans were mostly Aryan. The Mediterraneans are slightly Aryan. The Slavics are half Aryan, half ape. Orientals are slightly ape. Black Africans, mostly ape. Jews, close to pure ape. Hitler killed the Jews because of his belief in evolution. He was trying to speed up the process, to help humanity out, get rid of the inferiors. Hitler also hated black people. Oh, does anybody know where the Olympics were held in 1936? Black people. Here we go. The Aryan, the Slavics are half Aryan, half ape. <laughs> He thought the Germans were mostly Aryan. The Mediterraneans are. <laughs> he thought the Germans. Norwegian, Vord is Lord, it is ah, y'all sure you betcha. Oof, the hair is all. He thought the Germans. Did you fall in the blood and lower peoples? Who's a lower people, Adolf? Well, I found Hitler's hit list. I read lots of books about Hitler. Hitler thought the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Norwegians were close to pure Aryan, the superior race. Peoples. Okay, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Hitler thought the blonde-haired, blue-eyed Norwegians were close to pure Aryan, the superior race. <laughs> he thought the Germans were mostly Aryan. The Mediterraneans are slightly Aryan. The Slavic. The Mediterraneans are slightly. 
The Mediterraneans are a slightly area, the Slavics are half the superior race. The Mediterraneans are a slightly area, the Slavics are half area and half ape. Orientals are slightly ape. Black Africans, mostly ape. Jews, close to pure ape. Hitler killed, killed the Jews because, because of his belief in evolution. He was trying to speed up the process to help. Just cut out a little space here. Get rid of the inferiors. Hitler also hated black people. Oh, does anybody? Let's skip all this. Germany. Does anybody know who won the most gold medals? Jesse Owens, the black American athlete. Hitler was so angry, he walked out of the stadium and said, it's not fair to make my men race against this animal. Hitler said, I think Christianity is the most fatal, seductive lie that ever existed. <laughs> wow. Hitler said, I think Christianity is the most fatal, seductive lie that ever existed. Because Christianity teaches, God hath made of one blood all nations of men to dwell on the earth. Now, if you think you are superior to somebody because of the color of your skin, number one, you're wrong. Number two, you're stupid. Number three, you're not right with God. That's cool. I like all that. And I preached the same message in Georgia and Alabama. Yep, and they were found. And I would preach it to the KKK. You're wrong. I stood in the courtroom in Nuremberg where the trial was held. Those guys, 50 years ago, said, we did nothing illegal. We're just obeying orders. Yep, and they were found guilty of murder, weren't they? And just because our Supreme Court said the unborn child is not a human, not a person, that was the decision. 19, the trial was held. Those guys, 50. I stood in the courtroom in Nuremberg where the trial was held. Those guys, 50 years ago, said we did nothing illegal, we're just obeying orders. Those guys, 50. Right here. In Alabama and Miz. Come on. did nothing illegal, we're just obeying orders. Yep, and they, they were found, found guilty of murder, weren't they? And just because our Supreme Court said that, that the unborn child is not a human, not a person, that was the decision. 1973, Roe versus Wade. I don't care what the Supreme Court said, it's a person, it's a human at conception. But since that decision, we've now had 40 million babies killed by abortion in America. A billion worldwide. A thousand million. On September 11th, 2001, 3,000 Americans were killed by terrorists. Our government spent spent millions of dollars trying to hunt them down and kill them, right? You know what else happened on September 11, 2001? 4,500 Americans were killed by abortion. Nobody said a word. It happened again on September 12th and September 13th and the 14th and the 15th and every day since then it's going to happen again tomorrow. What are we doing, folks? Are we nuts? Margaret Sanger started a group called Planned Parenthood. The purpose of Planned Parenthood was to eliminate the inferior species. She thought the Jews, Orientals, and Blacks were human weeds. We could spend hours on Margaret Sanger. Get our videotape uh, college class, CLC 103, I believe, where we cover this. Uh, Planned Parenthood published a document. Wow. We cover this. Uh, Planned Parenthood published a document. Planned Parenthood published. I just found footage I wasn't expecting to find. Planned Parenthood published a document in 1952 where they said, What is an abortion? Is it an operation? No, it's not an operation. Is it a, what is, plan, what is child, child planning, they call it? How to plan your children? Birth control? Is it an abortion? They said, Definitely not. An abortion requires an operation. It kills the life of a baby after it has begun. Hold a second. Planned Parenthood published a document in 1952 where they said, what is an abortion? Is it an operation? No, it's not an operation. Operation. Is it, a, what is, plan, what is child, child planning, they call it? Child planning, child planning, they call it. How to plan your children? Birth control. Is it an How to plan your children? Birth control. Is it an abortion? They said definitely not. An abortion. Hmm. What is plan? What is child planning? They call it. What is child planning? What is plan? 
is it a, what is plant what is job what is, what is plant take what is what is job child planning they call it child planning they call it call it how planning is what is job cut this I apparently published a document in 1952 where they said what is an abortion is it a Plan, what is child planning, they call it? How to plan your children? We'll just take all this off. Try that. 52. How to plan your The document, 1952. What? Planned Parenthood published a document, 1950. Well, that's not going to work because the image. Planned Parenthood published a document in 1952. Yeah, labor, we covered this. We spent hours on Margaret Sanger. Get our 1952. We could get the tax for human weeds. We could spend hours on Margaret Sanger. Get our videotape uh, college class, CLC 103. Yeah, labor, we covered this. Planned Parenthood published a document in 19. 1952, where they said, what is an abortion? Is it an operation? Where they said, what? Said, how to plan your children? Birth control. Is it an abortion? They said, definitely not. An abortion requires an operation. It kills the life of a baby after it has been children. What is an abortion? Two, where they said, an abortion requires an operation. It kills the life of a baby after it has begun. Boy, Planned Parenthood changed their tune in the last 40 years, haven't they? The Bible says, these six things that the Lord hate, hands that shed innocent blood. Cursed be that taketh reward, shed innocent blood. And all the people shall say, Amen. You kids are going to... Okay. Well, looks like we got ourselves an abortion video. Wow. I don't even know where to go with all this now. I think I just need to keep chipping away. It's so long. i got to cut a bunch of stuff out. Kids, package your food product and not know what is in the ingredients. One consumable food product by itself may not be enough to cause a great deal of damage to the human body, but what about a combination of food products with chemical ingredients? Why are there a ton of chemicals in your food products? Not the chemical Alright, I've got to cut that clip and grab the other one with uh, anonymous right click it copy paste what just happened how that change already oh it didn't change right right click paste attributes in your food products. Not to mention Monsanto spraying almost everything grown and ingested by humans in the United States. Each day in over 124 million U.S. households, poison is brought to the dinner table. 
Formaldehyde, for example, regularly popped up in milk to keep it from souring. Yeah, the known carcinogen that we use to preserve dead bodies. We would also often find borax, a mineral that contains sodium and boron, in meat. It made the meat firmer, which made it seem fresher, especially when combined with an extra pinch of salt and red food color. So with 5,000 bucks from the government, Wiley hired a chef, promised a bunch of otherwise great free food, and recruited a dozen healthy young men as volunteers. He took their weight and vitals, made them collect their urine and feces, and gave them weekly physicals. Then they started with a low dose of a specific made the meat firmer food color. So with 5,000 bucks from the government, Wiley hired a chef, promised a bunch of otherwise great free food, and recruited a dozen healthy young men as volunteers. He took their weight and vitals, made them sick chemical, and went up. Low dose of a sick to continue. He just put the borax in pills for them to pop about halfway through their meals. Bon appetit. The guys on the poison squad reported stomach pains and feeling less hungry when they were fed two to three grams of borax a day. At four grams, they became very tired, developed headaches, and couldn't work normally. Sounds like an average Monday to me, but apparently in their case it was caused by the borax. Through other trials, Wiley also found that if they took a lower dose of half a gram a day for long enough, they'd get similar symptoms. Today we know that eating borax can cause tissue Today, This is all we need from that. We don't need any of this. Salt and red food color. Cut out all this. Today we know that eating borax can cause Today we salt and red food pellets. Today we know that eating borax can cause tissue damage, which can eventually lead to fun things like vomiting and convulsions. So thanks for saving us from that one, poison. Transition. Can eventually lead to fun things like vomiting and convulsions. Cut right there. So thanks for saving us from that one, poison squad. Cut to here. In January of 2008, a major study found that nearly a third of the 55 popular... Let's close that in. Like that. Um, Cheer because at Taco Bell restaurants. This stuff I don't like in the front because it's not as uh, entertaining. So let's move it towards the back for now. Happy hour. The United States. Happy hour. I have to poison the people of the United States. This I'm going to cut here on just the video track and zoom this one in a little more. And then And then this right here, I'm going to cut and drag this over here and put that speed at 50. So now the static matches the audio. I have hundred. And we can fade that to see what it sounds like. I have hundreds of government documents, textbooks white papers, where for over 80 years, the elite of the Western world have talked about adulterating food and water to sicken and sterilize the population for the purpose of eugenics. It's all covered in the book Eco Science, written by the White House science czar John P. Holdren, where they talk about a planetary police state to carry out the forced sterilization. They also talk about covert systems in the water and food to sterilize the population. Okay, so from right here, we got to cut to Kent Hoven talking, right? This is what we need. The German Supreme Court declared. 1936, the German Supreme. So let's bring all this over, exit out, and it's not all going to go here, but for now, just for the moment, I'm going to insert it, paste insert, and save my project. We'll see where it goes from here. Covert systems in the water and food to sterilize the population. 1936, the German Supreme Court declared Jews. Right here. 1936, the German Supreme Court. 
And here's a little pop in the audio. Let's see if a crossfade will fix it. 1936, the Germans. 1930, population. 1930. I still hear it, but I think it's this little spike right here. You can actually see it if I put my cursor. It's, you can't even get on it, but it's that little spike right there. So watch. If I cut here, and I cut there, and I cut that out, it's probably gone. 1930. Mm, I still kind of hear it. Try that. 1930. 1930. Yeah. I'm still hearing something. It's over here, maybe. 1930. 1936, the German Supreme Court declared What's better? that Jews are not persons. That was the decision that opened the way for Jews to be murdered. After all, they're not a person, so you can't be guilty of murder, you want to kill one. Hitler did what he did because of his belief in evolution. He thought he was helping out. He thought the Germans were a superior race. They deserved to rule the world. Hitler wanted to make the practice of Germany conform to the theory of evolution. Hitler said it was the duty of the strong to trample the weak. He said, I have the right to exterminate. Okay, hold on. Hitler did. I can cross, I'm going to crossfade all these audios for now just so they're crossfaded and I can hear them. Hitler did what he did because. I hear somebody coughing, so I'm going to cut this out. Quick crossfade. Hitler did what he did because. You murder, you want to kill one. Hitler did. That. Switch of the video is too fast. So we'll drag it out just a little more to about here. And I also don't like this little transition, but that was just in the video. But I'm just going to cut that transition out, slide this over, drag it out more. Can't be guilty of murder, you want to kill one. Hitler did what he did because of his belief in evolution. He thought he was helping out. He thought the Germans were a superior race. They deserved to rule the world. Hitler wanted to make the practice of Germany conform to the theory of evolution. Hitler said it was the duty of the strong. Right there, that's all we need. And now we'll cut, now we can cut to our boy Darwin, Dawkins rather. We need him to say this like, well, a decision that was based on Darwinian principles would be a ruthless wish to live in a dark Here we go. And a society, if I can put it like that, or, or, or Margaret Thatcher found, found a society. I do not wish to live in a Darwinian. Here we go. That's what we need. I do not wish to. Here we go. Richard Dawkins. I do not wish to live in a. I do not wish to live in a Darwinian world. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and stick title default Richard Dawkins copy da da doom and we'll click a text slap his name on there highlight it Put a stroke on it. Um, font can be a little bigger, can be bold, can be let's try Times New Roman. I just want Arial font. A up to A and see if we can find Arial. There it is. <sighs> Shrink it down. Richard Dawkins. I don't know what his title is, but let's copy his name. Stick it in here. And I'm going to sub this guy's channel. And I'm going to put nice. for his clip and I was going to search for Richard Dawkins title Richard 
Dawkins, English evolutionary biologist and author. He's the University of Ox Oxford's Professor for Public Understanding of Science. Well, I don't know what his... Uh, what his credentials are. Or whatever you call them, the titles. I'm just going to put Richard Dawkins, that's fine. I don't want to, I don't want to go too far into it. We'll up the... Uh, Stroke, stroke it to 20, and bold. Why does this font look so, I don't know. The, the I think I know why, the um, stroke is an inner stroke. It needs to be an outer stroke. Add the outer stroke, and then pop it to 20. Now we're talking. There we go. That's all we need. Slap on the... Where is it? It's down here. Pop it on, Mr. Richard. Mr. Richard. Mr. Richard. We can actually move this to bottom right. About there-ish. I do not wish to live in a Darwinian world. It's a very unpleasant world. It's a thoroughly unpleasant world. Not Let's make it just a little smaller. Oh. Hold shift. There we go. It's good. I do not live in a Darwinian world. It's a very unpleasant world, it's a thoroughly unpleasant world, not the kind of world we wish to live in. So let us construct the kind of society in which we wish to live, which will be a non-Darwinian society, with a sort of society which is which departs from Darwinian principles. A society that was based on Darwinian principles would be a ruthless, free market economy in which the rich trample the poor. Hitler said it was the duty of the strong to trample the weak. He said, I have the right to exterminate an inferior race that breed like the vermin. Hitler singled out the idea of... Hitler said it was the duty of... Hitler singled out the idea of biological evolution... Hitler singled out the idea of... Breed like the vermin. Hitler singled out the idea of biological evolution as the most forceful weapon against tradition... Little thing in the audio. Hitler singled out the... Hitler singled out the... Oops. Hitler singled out the idea of biological evolution. Hitler singled out the idea of biological evolution as the most forceful weapon against traditional religion. See, traditional religion, like Christianity says, nobody's better because of the color of their skin. Hitler didn't like that idea. Shrink that little pause down. Nobody's better because of the color of their skin. Hitler didn't like that idea. He said, nature, nature doesn't, doesn't like the blending, blending of a higher... Idea. I don't like these transitions. Yeah. But whatever. Idea. Just sit here and fix these yeah. transitions. Yeah. Because... Yeah. He said, nature doesn't like the blending of a higher... A higher... <sighs> that needs to go. Yeah. That needs to go. Oh, I just pulled the video down here. I'm going to undo that. Hold Alt. This one, hold Alt, speed 95. Nobody's better. It's fine. This clip can actually be speed 95. Of a higher, higher with a lower race. Blending of a higher with a Hitler thought the blonde haired, blue eyed Norwegians were close to pure Aryan, the superior race. 
The Mediterraneans are slightly Aryan. The Slavics are half Aryan, half ape. Orientals are slightly ape. Black Africans, mostly ape. Jews, close to pure ape. Hitler killed the Jews because of his belief in evolution. He was trying to speed up the process to help humanity. He was trying to speed up the these transitions are horrible. I don't know why they're like that. It's just bad quality. So, I'm just going in here manually, trying to make it look a little better. Hold Alt, speed duration 95. Hitler killed the Jews in evolution. He was trying to speed up the process to help humanity out, get rid of the inferiors. Hitler said, I think Christianity is the most fatal, seductive lie that ever existed. Okay, I think he's going on too long here right now. This has to come back to this later, I believe. Yeah. Hitler didn't like that idea. Legend. See, Hitler singled out the idea of biological the right to exterminate an inferior race that breed like the vermin. Hitler singled out the idea of biological evolution. All right, what's next? Indo-dollar corporations package a food product. Here we go. Take our anonymous back in the game here. Race that breed like the vermin. Hitler singled out the idea of biological evolution as the most forced weapon against it. Back it up right here. Back it up right here. Paste insert. Grab all the audio and just throw a crossfade on it. The vermin. The race that breed like the vermin. How can multi million dollar corporation? Static. A little static. I should honestly should just grab grab the static, would create the static from the other one, which is over here. This little static right here, watch. Cut this, grab this, right click, link. Then I can copy this and throw it back. Over here, right here, then I can cut this down to there, bring that over. How can multi million dollar corporations? How can multi million dollar corporations package a food product and not know what is in the ingredients? One consumable food product by itself may not. 124 million U.S. households. Poison is brought to the dinner table. Hitler singled out the idea of biological evolution as the most forced weapon against traditional religion. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to go there yet. Hi, for example. Formaldehyde for... To the dinner. Okay, so... We can take this with this and we'll move this over for a moment did we ever have Alex Jones back yeah we did of eugenics was the disabled evolution they deserve to rule the world the practice of evolution I do not wish to live in I do not wish to live he's talking before the the beat here I do not wish to live Cut him down, cut him down, shrink him in, fade it up. I do not wish to live in a Darwinian world. Beautiful. Save it. I do not wish to live in a Darwinian world. Hitler said it was the duty of the strong to trample the... Let's cut to right here a little faster. Cut that space out. Hitler said it was the duty of the strong to trample... How can multi-million dollar corporate do a great deal of damage to the human body? But what about a company? Why are there a ton of chemical products with chemical ingredients? What? Why are there a ton of chemicals in your food? How about this right here? We'll cut. And we'll stick in this guy. Popped up in milk to keep it contained so he on things like vomiting and convulsions. In January of 2008. So we'll grab all this back, exit out, and we'll stick it back here, 
paste insert. Fresher, especially when formaldehyde, for example. Formaldehyde, for example. The combination of food products with chemical ingredients. Formaldehyde, for example, regularly popped up in milk to keep it from souring. Yeah, the known carcinogen that we use to preserve and red food colors. Today, we know that eating borax can cause tissue damage, which can eventually lead to fun things like vomiting and convulsions. In January of 2008, that a major study found that nearly a third of the 55 popular brand name foods and beverage products were filled with mercury. Despite the fact that the people of Europe for over 20 years have fought off all the genetically modified wheat and corn and other crops being planted in their nation, now the EU is buckled and is accepting it. The United States is literally a testing ground for all of this. It's just automatically approved. And the people that work for these corporations, they're compartmentalized. They don't know what's going on. The people that work at these stores, they have no idea what's happening. This is affecting all of us. This is hurting everyone. Many different forms of cancer are growing by thousands of percentage points. Uh, diabetes, all these different diseases. And in major studies, it's all been linked to the toxic additives that are in our food, our water. If you just search the term Right, so we don't want Alex Jones after Alex Jones. Water. We want to put something else here. Maybe back, maybe a little more Kent Hovind, or let's see what we got. Actually, before we do some major chopping, let's see what Alex Jones says. Food irradiation. You'll learn the EPA approved. All right, maybe we will bring this back and close in what we would have got. Or Anonymous, I don't think Anonymous should go here. I think he needs to come back at the end. So maybe Kent Hovind, what's he talking about? Uh, diabetes, all these different diseases. And in major studies, it's all been linked to the toxic additives that are in our food, our water. Okay, right there. So what do we got back here? Has brought plenty of... Let's try this. Here are cereals are demonstrating a petro. It's a loop. This is more of an ending. This is all more of an ending. Kyle is out of the cereal and you'll be able to see them very dramatically. When we put together... I think we need this guy. Diabetes, all these. So he's talking about cancers and sicknesses, okay. So I think we need to come to over here. Right here. Sucking down the products these companies throw at us. imaginable are advertised intensely toward children right under if it doesn't go bad the minerals are added in later so they nutrients proper for this book they're users Zimbabwe's refuse although some cereals are okay at best cereal isn't real food and you you don't get real nutrition from it. Okay, let's try this right here. I'm gonna move this in. It's hurting everyone. 
toxic additives that are in our food, our water. Cereal isn't real food, and you don't get real nutrition from it. They're loaded that are in our food, our water. Cereal isn't real food, and you don't get real nutrition from it. They're water. Cereal isn't okay. It's the image. Real food. I need an image. I need this image. They look at cereal brands advertise that it's enriched with nutrients. new clip over delete that one speed 80 food our water cereal it toxic additives that are in our food our water cereal isn't real food and you don't get real nutrition from it they're sound? loaded with what was that sound let's see if I'm still on or if I got booted. I guess I'm still on. Alright, we're still on. We're still on. Give myself a thumbs up. Cereal isn't real food, and you don't get real nutrition from it. They're loaded with GMOs. Most cereal brands advertise that it's enriched with all these vitamins and minerals, making it a complete... All right, this is what we need. Most cereal brands advertise that... This is what we need here. Most cereal brands advertise that it's enriched with all these vitamins and minerals, making it a complete and balanced breakfast... But that is far from the truth. The things they add are more harmful than good because they can become toxic. Your body needs to absorb real vitamins and minerals and nutrients pro and nutrients properly from real food. Cereal is processed and manufactured. Your body does not absorb what they throw in cereal properly and it's right here to here the things they add are the minerals making it a complete and balanced breakfast but that is far from the truth the thing things they add all this can go this can move in this can go back to 100 speed Water. Most cereal brands advertise that it's in. Let's see if we get the kid shoving the food in his face. Additives that are in our food. Food. Our water. Most cereal brands advertise that it's enriched with all these vitamins and minerals, making it a complete and balanced breakfast. But that is far from the truth. Cereal is processed and manufactured. Your body does not absorb what they throw in cereal properly, and it's not good for you. Your body does not absorb what they throw in cereal. Scratch that, scratch that. Far from the truth. Cereal absorb what they throw in cereal properly, and it's not good for you. Most cereal is made through a process called extrusion, through which all that's what I need right there. That's what I need right there. This can come down. This can come in. Most cereal. This can come in. That can get the truth. Most cereal is made through a process called extrusion through which all the nutrients are basically sucked out and to compensate chemically modified vitamins and minerals are added in later so they can slap that label on it gets worse 
Because of how cereal is made, it contains phytic acid, which is known as an anti-nutrient because it actually blocks the absorption of vitamins and minerals. Now think about this. Cereal can get stale, but does it ever really go bad or decay? Here's a saying that I think I made up. Right here. Because it actually blocks the absorption of vitamins and minerals. There we go. Cut this down. Vitamins and minerals. If it doesn't go bad, it's most likely bad for you. Of course, there are always exceptions to every rule, but most usually, food that doesn't spoil is probably some Franken food that you probably. But most usually, food that food that doesn't spoil is probably some Franken food that you probably most likely bad for you. I'm gonna sneeze. I sneezed. Vitamins and minerals. If it doesn't go bad, it's most likely bad for you. Food that doesn't spoil. Hold on. Grab this. We'll drag this. Minerals. If it doesn't go bad, it's most likely bad for you. Food that doesn't spoil is probably some Franken food that you probably shouldn't be eating. The GMOs loaded in cereal are very bad for digestion liver function, and even fertility. Also, most cereals contain loads of sugar. I'm not here to preach or tell anyone what to do. You all can do whatever you want. I'm just sharing information and telling you the truth. Take it or leave it. Take a look at my other videos. I don't grandstand for applause from anyone. I do the work and share truth as I see it, whether it's popular or not. In this day and age, we are so far removed from the making of our foods, and this is not a good thing. We blindly trust companies who don't have our best interest in mind to give us everything. Observe how things are done. Decade, decade after decade, some of the worst foods imaginable are advertised intensely toward children right under our noses, securing another generation of the institutionalized. We are completely brainwashed with so many things right now. Wake up and snap out of it. Bowls of processed wheat or grains flavored with sugar and salt is human kibble. You deserve better than that. Sure enough, brainwashed people will come around to defend their favorite brands and even paid trolls hired by these industries will come around to say, I don't know what I'm talking about, and so on and so forth. Typical fools, agents, and tools will do what they do. There are some cereals like shredded wheat or kashi that are okay, but get out of the mindset that this human kibble is a normal thing to eat on a regular basis because it's not. Again, to eat cereal or not is your call. Regardless, start reading your labels and re-examining the many things you call food. Okay. I don't know. All that was so good. It's like I don't even want to cut it. I don't even want to cut all that, any of that out. Maybe I'm mixed stuff within it. But I don't know. That's all good info. Best interest in mind. It's a good presentation. When you're the truth, take it or leave it. I like all this, this uh, context. I'm just sharing information and telling you the truth. Take it or leave it. Take a look. They are humans and they are. Why are there a ton of chemicals in your food? The biological evolution has the. You call food. What's next? Radiation. You'll learn the EPA approved this in the last decade. Down so that as much of the volume of live in a Darwinian world. Where do you use that? And, and three people were killed by spinach contaminated. Force weapon against I don't care what the Supreme put this on there. I would go. Here we go. 
Tritonium phosphate. If I sprinkle trisodium phosphate on my kids' cereal. Yeah, okay, so here they're talking about marketing to kids previously. So we're going to want to put the marketing to kids. This food test we are doing today. Let's see what he says. Preserve food as preservatives that are highly. All right, so we're going to move this over here. And re examine paid trolls hire in Kibble. Right under our noses, securing another generation of the institutionalized. Right there. All right, so here's where we're going to stick this clip. Cut it and literally paste insert. Securing another generation of the institutionalized. We are doing to is. What we are doing today is uh, demonstrating that these popular children's cereal also has an ingredient that is the main ingredient in degreasing paint, tri-sodium phosphate. So we want to know how many people know that this toxic chemical is in all their children's Right here. So we want to know it's from right here, we can cut all this out, shrink it down, do a little crossfade. Institutionalized. So we want to know how many people. Institutionalized. So we want to know how many people know that. So we don't like this fade here. This fade's no good. So we're gonna have to cut this. Drag this up. Drag this back. Drag this over, drag this up, let go, drag this only, delete this. So we want to know how many people know that this toxic chemical... ...know that this toxic... So we want to know how many people know... Bring this over here. ...of the institutionalized. So we want to know how many people know that this toxic chemical is... ...people... You don't want to know how many people know that this toxic chemical is in all their children's favorite cereal. Are any of these your favorite cereals? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Three Do you know what these cereals have in common? Sugar high fructose corn syrup. Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> all right. Do you know what TSP is? No, I don't. Tritonium phosphate? No. Oh. It's very not good for you. I can see you. <laughs> all right. Do you know what? Right here. Do you know what these cereals have in common? Yeah, Which one? Yeah, real choice. Right here, we'll cut all this out. Which one? Yeah, real choice. Do you know what TSP is? No, I don't. Tritonium phosphate? No. Oh. It's very not good for you. Let's you use it for cleaning. Would you eat that? No. I don't know what it is. It's degreaser, it's paint remover, it's a lubricant. <laughs> but it's also found in all three of these cereal. Um, it's an ingredient. Would you still eat it if I gave it to you like that? <laughs> no. Do you know that that's in your cereals? Are right here. It's degreaser. It's paint remover. Remover. Do you know that's in your cereal? It's paint remover. Do you know that's in your cereal? It's already an ingredient. Yes. Yeah. In all three of these. Try sodium phosphate right there. Right here. Wow. Um, I was actually quite surprised that there's TSP in the cereal. Yeah. So like on this, so you use this before, and it says a warning: harmful is swallowed. Does that look okay to eat? It looks like sugar, but I know it's not. That's not sugar, that's tritonium phosphate. Yeah, so like on this, so you've used it before. 
right here. Try sodium phosphate right there. Right there. Wow. I was actually quite surprised that there's TSP in this area. There's TSP in this area. And it says, a warning, harmful if swallowed. Does that look okay to eat? It looks like sugar, but I know it's not. But does that look okay to eat? Swallowed. It looks like Do you still want to eat the cereal now? No. That's all I swallowed. Does that look okay? Harmfully swallowed. Do you still want to eat the cereal now? This one's organic. Now, we're not promoting it or anything, but um, it tastes the exact same as Reese's Puffs, but it doesn't have the weird ingredients in it. Do you want to try it? Sure. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, if you look at the ingredients in this, you can understand. Eat this cereal right now if I put that on top. We're not promoting it or anything, but... Um, We didn't get it. Hitler, think about the idea of bio. Ton of chemicals in your food products. Not too many. Going to pull. Metallic. There are any skeptics out there? Side by side, and then we're going to do a comparable. Nope. One, two thousand. All right, we'll try to put some of this ice cream stuff in here, but we're going to cut most of this out. We don't need most of this. Well, we'll make sure it didn't paste on top of anything, okay. Most of this is going to go, but the problem is we got to watch it. So I'm going to put this product against this product. They're both modified milk products. And I'm also going to put these two products with the milk and cream side by side. And then we're going to do a comparable of all four, and you're going to be shocked. <laughs> Liquid. So you can see right down there. So eat the cereal right now. I put that on top. It the liquid. You see that? This is this on top. This is the melted ice. This is the melted ice cream. Like, I'm not screwing around here. This is the melted ice cream. It's disgusting. Screwing around here. This is the melted ice cream. It's disgusting. 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 Okay, so what we're going to move into now is I've got ice cream in a smaller bowl. Small. This 
this is the melted ice cream. I don't want the uh, flippant use of God's name in there. music well what you could do here is this is a snare hit right you see the snare hit and this is also a snare hit snare drum right here's a snare drum so bring these two together and you have the snare hitting so when you put the Cross fade. Should work. Just a little extra note in there. Can you pull this out more? Hit on a snare hit again right there. God, you see that? They put all the ice cream through mold. Not only is that mold, it's got some sick bucket. Ba boom. <laughs> it's got some kind of sick things you couldn't even tell. The other is terrible. It's got some liquid flowing You're not eating this crap. crap. Try this. Swap 
swap these two. So not only does it not melt, not only does it have mold, it's but the smell. Try this. So not only does it not melt, not only does it have mold, but the smell that is kicking off is terrible. It's got some kind of sick bile liquid floating around it, and I hope to God. Attack times, stock clips, um, logo cut, import it, bring it in right here. We've got to be very responsible and educated consumers in this day and age. We can't keep sucking down the products these companies throw at us because many of the foods they make readily available for us give us diseases and make us ill. But they will never tell you that. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we. Search the term food irradiation. You'll learn the EPA approved this in the last decade, and they're irradiating beef, poultry, fish, uh, produce, and it destroys the food value. It breaks the ring structures in the food, and it's basically dead food you're now eating, and it loses most of its nutritional. Let's see if we can slip him in here. These companies throw at us. They will never tell you that. If you just search the term food irradiation, we didn't even get into uh, in this piece, and they're irradiating value. It breaks the ring structures. Irradiation. You'll learn the EPA approved this in the last decade, and they're irradiating beef, poultry, fish, uh, produce, and it destroys the food value. It breaks and it destroys the food value. It and it destroys food irradiation. You'll learn the EPA. You'll learn the EPA approved this in the last decade, and it destroys the food value. It breaks the ring structures in the food, and it's basically dead food you're now eating, and it loses most of its nutritional value. That's another issue uh, that we didn't even get into. <laughs> That's another issue uh, that we didn't even get into uh, in this piece. And the list just goes on and on and on. There, there are hundreds of petrochemical distillates, the leftovers. The list just goes on and on and on. There are hundreds of petrochemical distillates, the leftovers of oil uh, refining, that are put as, quote, flavor enhancers and things to uh, preserve food as preservatives that are highly toxic. And that's that processed food taste. It's a more dangerous world than you think. And we all must do our part to be now. What else? Processed food taste. It's not necessarily healthy, but it's a lot healthier for you. But yet, these industries will cut. Sugar and salt. Too much and more salt. No, sing about the What? You will eventually see black this fall has 2006. The New York Times wrote the article. Maybe we could put this now. Highly toxic. And that's that processed food taste. 2006. This food taste. 2006. The New York Times wrote the article. This food taste. 2006. And let's put this here. This food taste. 2006. The New York Times wrote. Copy. Paste. Insert. Delete. Food 
attached. 2006, the New York Times wrote the article, Has Politics Contaminated the Food Supply? In it they said, This fall has brought plenty of bad news about food poisoning. More than 200 people in 26 states were sickened and bad news about food poisoning. The New York Times wrote the article, Has Politics Contaminated the Food Supply? In it they said, This fall has brought plenty of bad news about food poisoning. They said, More than 200 people in 26 in it they said in it they said more than food supply in it they said uh, because these are texts I'm going to dip to black food supply in it they said more than 200 people in 26 states were sickened and three people were killed by spinach contaminated with E. coli. At least 183 people in 21 states got salmonella. People in 26. More than 200 people in 26 states were sickened. Test. 2006. The New York Times wrote the article. Has politics contaminated the food supply? In it, they said, more than 200 people in 26 states were sickened and three people were killed by spinach contaminated with E. coli. At least 183 at restaurants. And more than 160 people were sickened with E. coli after eating at Taco Bell restaurants. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 76 million Americans are sickened, 325,000 are hospitalized, and 5,000 die each year because of something they ate. Okay. Completely brainwashed with We are completely digested by and five thousand die each year because of something they ate. Evolution at area in the blood evolution. You're not right. But since that decision we've now had forty two thousand one. But get out of the humans and the Nazis. I saw the phosphate. Let's see them themselves because this is for our fucking that you can read. Spring. This clip I need. So we're going to cut it. Paste it here. Six million Americans are sick each year because of something they ate. If I sprinkle trisodium phosphate on my kid's cereal, if I put this on there, I would go to prison for poisoning my children. But yet, they're putting it in our cereals for our kids to eat. You guys, we need to stand up for something here. And this is one thing to stand up for. Let's speak for those children that can't speak for themselves because this is an outrage. You need to call them. I don't, I don't care if it's rated as a food. I don't care what it gets rated as or anything. It's a carcinogen that eats away paint. It'll even say that it eats away aluminum. It will etch glass. And but yet, they're putting it in our cereals for our kids to eat. You guys, we need... Right here. Need to come back and find her clip that I already had, which is right here. Do you still want to eat the cereal now? No. No. You got that. No. Do you know that's in your cereal? It's already. Which one? Real chug. Do you know that's here? Do you still want to eat this now? Would you still eat this cereal? Let's cut this out. Shrink it. Fully swallowed. Would you still eat this cereal right now? I put that on top. This is the melted ice cream. Right here. 
because this is an outrage. Paste it right here. In our series. Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. Cut it. Move it here. Paste it. Cereal for our kids to eat. Do you still want to eat the cereal now? No. 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 <laughs> you got no. 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 You guys, we need. See that? For our kids to eat. You guys still want to eat this right now? Our for our kids to eat. To eat. You, you guys still want to eat this, this right now? now? No. No. You guys still want to eat the cereal now? No. no. Yes. No. Yes. You guys, we need to stand up for something here. And this is one thing to stand up for. Let's speak for those children that can't speak for themselves because this is an outrage. You need to call them. I don't care care if it's rated as a food i don't care what it gets rated as or anything it's a carcinogen that eats over if it's rated as a food right here it is an outrage it gets rated as or anything it's a carcinogen that eats away paint it'll even say that it eats away aluminum it will etch glass, and we're putting it in our food? Who thought of this idea? There we go. That's the question. Who thought of this idea? It's an outrage. I don't care what it gets rated at. That's where it goes. Who thought of this? So. A ton of chemicals in your food. Idea. Why are there a ton of chemicals in your food products? Idea. Why are there a ton of chemicals? Why are there a ton of chemicals in your food products? Not to mention Monsanto spraying almost everything grown and ingested by humans in the United States. Each day, over 124 million U.S. households, poison is brought to the dinner table. It states. Is some guy sitting around that says, hey, why don't you go on into Tucky? It shrinks those liquor. You know, come on, people. Get the outrage. If you're outraged, share this with everybody. You should be outraged. If you're outraged, if you're outraged, share this with everybody because we need to get this out of the cabinets of our kids are eating out. We need to get it out now. Do this, act on it, share it with everybody you know because this is wrong. Call me silly, but this is stupid. Stop it now. You know, this is wrong. Call, call me silly now. I can use a magnet to move cereal across water. There's metal. Damn. This is the only That's the only clip I need right there. If I can use a magnet to move cereal across water, there's metal. Cut this. Cut that. This is going to have to go after. After, where was it? Did I delete it? 
The guy doing the experiment, what just happened to it? What did I do? Did I delete it? Wait, what in the world did I do? Where is it? I'm not exactly sure what I did. Alright, I'm gonna redo all everything. I just did control shift Z. Control Shift Z. Let's redo all that. I'm not exactly sure where I just lost the video from, but the clip I was looking for. Oh, I probably where did I cut it off from? I cut it off from Hold on, I cut it off from here, didn't I? There it is. Okay. That's it. So this guy needs to be shown first, and then this, and then these clips of the serial, because it only makes sense if he explains that there's metal in it, and that's why the serial is moving in the water, and then it shows this additional experiment here. I'm now going to show you. Bring almost everything grown and digested by humans in the United States. Eight. Let's cut this. Paste it right here. Humans in the United States. I'm not eight. I'm now going to show you a demonstration in which we're actually going to pull these metallic iron filings out of the cereal, and you'll be able to see them very dramatically. When we put together cornflakes in water, and they're all mixed and crunched up together, and we slosh it all around, you will eventually see black iron filings collect on top of this magnet. We'll try to use most of the flakes so that we can get a maximum concentration of iron for you to see. And then we're going to slosh it around so that as much of the volume of this passes across the top of this magnet and you'll see that these iron metallic filings will then gather. Okay, we slosh this around. Our magnet is right here. It's the same as this magnet. We see this green. Here's the green side of this magnet. And you see this enormous amount of metallic filings here. After this, I'm going to cut this out of the bag and you'll be able to see these filings in even greater detail after I dry them. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little water on this. Okay, now we have now we have the filings on the paper. I'm going to take a magnet underneath the table and see how the filings stand up. We push them over from one side to the other. I can use a magnet to move cereal across water. Wow. It's a crazy experiment. So I'm gonna sl slap that in there. I can use a magnet to tie to the other. I can use a magnet to move cereal across water. There's metal in it. Metal in it. There's metal. There's metal. There's metal. And so I want to cut this experiment down somewhat. I just want to speed through it. 
I'm now going to show you a demonstration in which we're actually going to pull in which we're We're actually ingested by humans in the United States. We're actually going to pull these metallic iron filings out of the cereal, and you'll be able to see them very dramatically. When we put together cornflakes and water in their when we put together cornflakes and water, and they're all mixed and crunched up together and we slosh it all around, you will eventually see black iron filings collect on top of this magnet. We'll try to use most of the... We'll cut that out. Skip to this. Skip all this blending. And you'll see, see that these that around so that as much of the volume of this passes across the top of this magnet, and you'll see that these iron metallic filings will then gather. Cut all that out. Need that, that's it. Is right here. It's the same as this magnet. Same as this magnet. It's the same as this magnet. We see this green. Here's the green side of this magnet. And you see this enormous amount of metallic filings here. I'm going to cut this out of the bag here. on this. Now I'm going to put a little water on this. Take the bag away. Okay, now. In greater detail after the metallic filings here. Okay, now I'm going to put a little water on this. Okay, now we have spooky music. Okay, now we have now we have the files on the paper. We have now we have the files on the paper. I'm going to take. Is on the paper. I'm going to take a magnet underneath the table and see how the filings stand up. We push them over from one side to the other. I can use a magnet to move cereal across water. There's metal. Each day there are 124. Outrage. Share this with everybody because we need to get this. Each day, each day, there are 124. Cool, we're getting shorter. What are we down to? I don't even know. Oh, do we cut out his whole experiment? All mixed and crunched up volume of this. Yeah, we got all this. See how we're good. We're good with that. Let's start shrinking this all down a little bit. And see what we're what we're up to. We cut it down to 17. Let's keep on moving. Stand up. We push them over from one side to the other. I can use a magnet. Got you already. Each day there are 100 people. If you're outraged, share this with everybody because we need to get this. Sam has Reese's pass, but it's. 
understand all the ingredients, you know what you're eating. It's not necessarily healthy, but it's a lot healthier for you. It has no chemicals in it. Do they taste the same as Reese's Puffs? Would you prefer eating these than that? These have all ingredients that you can read. They don't have GMOs and they don't have trisodium phosphate. Okay. The weird ingredients in it. Do you want to try it? Sure. Yeah. Sure. But, but yeah, if you look at the ingredients in this, you can understand all the ingredients. You know what you're eating. It's not necessarily healthy, but it's a lot healthier for you. It has no chemicals in it. Eating. It's not necessarily eating. Good ingredients in it. Do you want to try it? We'll see if we use this or not. I don't know if that's part of the video or not. Act on it. This is an ending. Sort of. This is more of an ending. The brain was poisonous. Brought to the dinner table. We are completely brain. Here we go. Throw another tech times clippage. We are com we, we are completely brainwashed with so many things right now. Wake up and snap out of it. Bowls of processed wheat or grains flavored with sugar and salt is human kibble. You deserve better than that. Sean, eat things right now. Wake up and snap out of it. Call this out. I gotta link these back, right click link. To be knowledgeable, to better it comes with a price. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we all must do our part. Brainwash people's hired today, and Tokashi that are okay. There are some serious. We don't need this part. Of the mindset of normal thinking. Again, to eat cereal, eat your labels, and re examine the many things you you call food. food. Start reading your labels and, and re examine all. Regardless. Gonna sneeze. For tip your labels and re examine the things <coughs> you call food. Whew. Allergies. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we all must do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. Number Ignorance comes with a price. To better protect ourselves, and our we all must do our part to be now. Here we go. We'll cut this and we'll stick it here. 
Stick him at the end. Trees will come around. Not to say, I don't. You call food. Reading your. It's a more dangerous world than you think. We. Dangerous world than you think. Oh, that's cool. Just keep that right there. Right there. It's a more big price. If you're outraged, share this with every. Is wrong. There we go. Healthier for you. I have no chemicals in it. Is that? You want to try it? No, we don't need any of that footage. That's not helping our point. More plant parenthood. I don't know. Let's see. They're selling you fake fiber. Alright, keep it moving. Snap powder. Number 10. The many things you call. Start reading your. Snap powder. Start reading your label and snap powder. Start reading your labels and re-examine. Start reading your labels and re-examine. Snap out. Start reading your labels. Out. Start reading your labels and re-examine. your labels and re-examine. Start reading your labels and re-examine the many things you call food. Call food. Cut it down to there. This is going to go here. All this evolution stuff, if included, will have to go after this when it's talking about people that trolls are hired are going to say that he doesn't know what he's talking about hitler, back to hitler so then we got here this is our ending it's a more dangerous world than you and all people shall say six things that the lord hate hands of shed innocent blood cursed be that taketh reward shed innocent blood and all people shall say, Amen. That's probably an ending there. So maybe a double ending. Everybody you know, because this is wrong. Boom here. Shaboom there. Crossfade everything here. We're down to 16 minutes. Now I'm going to chop out some of this stuff here. This segment. A lot of the many things. A lot of antibiotics go into meat. Number nine. Food, food companies are hiding sugar. Number eight. Monsanto's secrets. Number seven. Your shrimps are dirty in a, in a lot of ways. No. Number six. Many cheese products aren't cheese. Number five. Pregnant pigs are confined to tiny crates. No. Number four. They're selling you fake fiber. Number three. Cows are now fed corn. And that's not a good thing. Number two. Number two. 
samples are now fed corn. And that's not a good thing. Number two, mail. Cows eat. How about can cows eat corn? Let's see the first thing that pops up. More hair grass cow you compared to corn, so you know the grains are less likely the animal will develop these digestive problems. Cows consuming a lot of corn are more susceptible to E. coli infection, which can turn in Okay. Myth cat feeding cattle corn is unnatural. Myth crushers fact eating Feeding corn to cattle is natural. Some people mistakenly believe that corn or grain-fed cattle never eat grass. Some cattle have their diets enhanced with corn. Okay, so it's debatable. It's debatable, so let's not put it in there. And that's cut all these pieces out, shrink them all down some. Male chicks are ground up fiber. Male chicks are ground up alive. Number one, chick alive. Number one, chickens have really changed. For example, in two, 2002, millions of dollars really changed. For example, in 2002, millions of dollars in food aid through the World Food Program was rejected in Africa by Malawi, Mozambique, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. For example, in 2002, millions of dollars in two, millions of dollars in food aid through the World Food Program was rejected in Africa by Malawi, Mozambique, Zambia, and Zimbabwe because the aid was contingent upon accepting genetically modified maize. A supposedly anonymous State Department official even retorted that when it comes to genetically modified food aid, quote, beggars can't be choosers. Zimbabwe's refusal of GM food rations led to them being delivered in Mexico and other Latin American countries only weeks later. Only weeks in American countries. Okay, he says wake up. You call food. A lot of anti- Reading your- We are completely brainwashed with so many things right now. Wake up and snap out of it. Start reading your labels and re-examining the many things you call food. A lot of antibiotics. Pop it in right here. Millions of dollars in food aid through the World Food Program was... Millions of dollars... Millions of dollars in call millions of dollars millions of dollars go to bed soon millions of dollars in food aid through the world food program was to other Latin American countries a lot of antibiotics go into meat food companies are hiding sugar Monsanto's secrets. Your shrimps are dirty. Your shrimps. The biotics go to meat. Food companies are. Are hiding sugar. Your shrimps are dirty in a lot of ways. Many. We took out Monsanto's secrets. Because it doesn't explain what it was. A lot of antibiotics go into meat. Food companies are hiding sugar. 
Your shrimps are dirty. Many cheese products aren't cheese. Pregnant pigs are confined to tiny crates. They're selling you fake fiber. Male chicks are selling you fake fiber. Fiber. Male chicks are ground up alive. Number one, chick. Chickens have really changed. Alive. Ground up alive. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we all must do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves. And Whoops. That's traditional religion. See, traditional religion didn't like that idea. Was thinking about area, the pure area. Those are the Jews because of... I think this is a different said, video right here. Christianity is the most fatal to somebody because of the color of your... And just because our Supreme Court said the unborn child... But since that decision, we've now had 40 million babies killed by abortion in America. Those guys, 50 years, not right with God. Those guys... 50 years ago, said we did nothing illegal, we're just obeying orders. And it went on here. Legal, we're just obeying orders. Yep, and they were a child, is not a human, not a person. That was the decision. 1973, Roe versus Wade. And just because our Supreme Court said the unborn child, yep, and they were found guilty of murder, weren't they? All right, we're going to copy all this. Just because our Take this. All right, we're going to move all this over because it's probably not going to be in our video, but some little snippets will. I don't know what happened to landing. Landing is gone. What did I do? I think I pasted over my ending. What have I done? Are ground up alive. Chickens have really. Okay, where did my ending go? Where's my ending? There it is. Here's my ending. It's a more dangerous world. Guilty of murder, aren't they? And just because our it's a human at conception. A billion worldwide. Those guys, fifth everybody because of the color of your skin, number one, or three, I believe, where we covered this. Planned Parenthood published a document in 1950, Life of a Baby at the Lord Hate. Hands are shed. And abortion requires an operation. It kills traditional religion. See, traditional religion like Christianity says, Hitler singled out the idea of biological do what they do. Hmm. And we all must do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we all must do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. If you're outraged, share this with everybody, because we need to get this out of the cabinets of our kids are eating out. We need to get it out now. Do this, act on it, share it with everybody you know, because this is wrong. Sure enough, brainwash people not alive. But these industries will come around. Weapon against traditional religion. See, traditional religions were Jews, Christianity teaches. But since that decision, we've now had 40 murder, aren't they? And just because our... So we'll grab all this, slide it over, and grab just to copy it. Oh, I lost a piece. Whoops. Slide it, duplicate it, cut off all this. Guys, 50 years ago, said we did nothing illegal, we're just obeying order. And just, be 
just because our Supreme Court said the unborn child. And just because our Supreme Court said the unborn child. Like you fake fiber, male chicks are ground up alive. Being delivered in Mexico and other Latin American from an official even because the aid was contingent upon accepting genetic modifications. A supposedly anonymous State Department official even retorted that when it comes to genetic State Department official even for people, a supposedly anonymous State Department official even retorted that when it comes to genetically a supposedly anonymous State Department official even retorted that when it comes to genetically modified food aid, food aid quote, beggars can't be choosers. Zimbabwe's refusal of GM food rations led to them being delivered in Mexico and other Latin American countries. A supposedly anonymous State Department official even retorted that... Let's see if we put this before anonymous. Where's our final anonymous right here? Let's see if that goes here. From other Latin American countries. Each day. A supposedly anonymous State Department official even retorted that when it comes to genetically modified food aid, quote, Beggars can't be choosers. Zimbabwe and other Latin American countries. Each day there were 120 Latin American countries. Each day there were 120. A supposedly anonymous American countries. Each day there were 124 million U.S. households. Poisonous brought each day there were 124. We are completely. We are complete countries. Each day there were 120 things you call food. A lot of antibiotics go into meat. Food companies are hiding sugar. Your shrimps are dirty. Many cheese products aren't cheese. Pregnant pigs are confined to tiny crates. They're selling you fake fiber. Male chicks are ground up alive. To be ground up alive. It's a more dangerous world. Alive. It's a more dangerous world than fake chicks are ground up alive. It's a more dangerous world than you think. Up alive. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we almost do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. If you're outraged, share this with everybody because we need to get this out of this is wrong. Sure enough, brainwash people will come around to defend their favorite brands, and even paid trolls hired by these industries will come around to say, I don't know know what I'm talking about and so on and so forth. Typical fools, agents, and tools will do what they do. And just because our Supreme Court said the unborn child is not a human, not a person, that was the decision. 1973, Roe versus Wade. I don't care what the Supreme Court said, it's a person, it's a human at conception. But since that decision, we've now had 40 million babies killed by abortion in America. A billion worldwide. A thousand million. On September 11th, 2001, 3,000 Americans were killed by terrorists. Our government spent millions of dollars trying to hunt them down and kill them, right? You know what else happened on September 11, 2001? 4,500 Americans were killed by abortion. Nobody said a word. It happened again on September 12th and September 13th and the 14th and the 15th, and every day since then it's going to happen. That's the part I need right there. Tools, agents, and tools will do what they do. On September 11th, 2001, 3,000 Americans. Price. If you're outraged, share this with everybody. Not alive. It's a more deep wrong. Sure. This needs to move over here. Not alive. Sure enough. Brainwash. Alive. Sure. Alive. 
alive. Sure enough, brainwashed people will come around to defend their favorite brands and even paid trolls hired by these industries will come around to say, I don't know what I'm talking about and so on and so forth. Typical fools, agents, and tools will do what they do. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we all must do our part to be knowledgeable to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. If you're outraged, share this with every... Do what they do. It's a more dangerous world... It's a more dangerous world and will do what they do. It's a more dangerous Say? I don't think we need all this Hitler stuff. He kept talking about... about... You know... Cause... Yeah, what is it? Was helping out. Realization. They also talk about covert systems in the water and food to sterilize the population. 1936, the Germans. I have. Sure enough, brainwashed people will come. Are ground up alive. Sure enough, brainwashed people. It's a more dangerous world than you think. And we all must do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. If you're outraged, share the... Do what they do. If you're outraged, share this with everybody, because we need to get this out of the ca... Let me see how this fits here. Price. I have hundreds of government states to the population. 1936, the Germans have protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. I have hundreds of government documents. It's a more dangerous world. Yeah, it doesn't exactly work there at all. We all must do our part to be knowledgeable. Ignorance come. Let's just take the audio from that only. If you're outraged, share this. We'll do what they do. If you're outraged, share. They do. If you're outraged, share what they do. If you're outraged, share this with everybody. You're wrong. On September 11th, 2001, 3,000 is wrong. On September 11th, 2001, 3,000 American college class, CSE 103, I believe where we covered this, Planned Parenthood published a document in 1952 where they said, an abortion requires an option for I believe where we covered this. Planned Parenthood published a document in 1952 where they said, an abortion requires an operation. We shall say, Amen. All right, we're going to have to watch it in its context. 13 minutes, not too bad. It's past 1.30. I need my ending. My ending is going to be outro um, clean. Let's try this one, clean outro. And then we'll put this these words, this little speech at the bottom, right about there. Another track. We'll put the uh, the audio, the audio, and. It's a more dangerous world than you think. And we all must do our part to be in It's a more... Gotta come in with the beat of the music. 
It's a more dangerous world than you think. <sighs> I gotta come in with the beat of the music kind of right on the... It's a more dangerous world than you think. Kind of works. Fades in with right when it hits the... It's a more dangerous world than you think. And we all... Where's the kick drum? It's a more dangerous world... Here's the kick drum. Right there. So this kick drum needs to be right on the beat here. It's a more dangerous world than you think. It's a more dangerous world than you think. It's a more dangerous world than you think. And we almost do... It's a more dangerous world than you think. It's a more dangerous world than you think. Eh. I need to find another kick drum. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we almost do our part to be now. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we almost do our part to be knowledgeable to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. Number 10 comes with a price. Ignorance comes with a price. Comes with a price. Hmm. See if we drag this out. We'll never tell you that. They will never tell you that. It's a more dangerous world than you think. And they will never tell you that. Right there, it can come in. This needs to come in here. Fade in the music. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we almost do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. It's a more It's a more dangerous world than you think. It's a more dangerous world than you think. In this case I might put the exponential fade. It's a more dangerous world than you think. No, it didn't work. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we almost do our part to be knowledge. Maybe slow it down a little bit. Speed. 90. Mm-hmm. Now it's going to sound different. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we almost do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. It's a... It's a more dangerous... Comes with a price. Come on. One more. Comes with a price. Comes with a price. It's a more dangerous world than speed eighty five. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we almost do our part to be knowledgeable to better protect ourselves and our families. It's a more dangerous world than you think, and we almost do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. It's a 
more dangerous world than you think, and we all must do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price. It's a more dangerous world than you think. Alright, that's done. Where, Where they, they said, an abortion, abortion requires an op- If you're outraged, share this with everybody, because we need- Is wrong. On September 11th, 2001. Is wrong. Let's see how this plays. Ugh, so late. My friends, the information that you are about to witness, from all of my years of research, is the most important. Yeah, let's eat some it's junk been food. Been here the entire time. This is the ultimate secret that's about to be exposed. We are anonymous. Your food is poison. The U.S. government is allowing all of its citizens to be poisoned. Women, children, and entire families. Before we show you proof and examples, you must ask yourself why? Why is the government allowing large corporations to poison the people of the United States and beyond? I have hundreds of government documents, textbooks, white papers, where for over 80 years, the elite of the Western world have talked about adulterating food and water to sicken and sterilize the population for the purpose of eugenics. It's all covered in the book, Eco Science, written by the White House science czar, John P. Holdren, where they talk about a planetary police state to carry out the forced sterilization. They also talk about covert systems in the water and food to sterilize the population. 1936, the German Supreme Court declared Jews are not persons. That was the decision that opened the way for Jews to be murdered. After all, they're not a person, so you can't be guilty of murder when you kill one. Hitler did what he did because of his belief in evolution. He thought he was helping out. He thought the Germans were the superior race. They deserved to rule the world. Hitler wanted to make the practice of Germany conform to the theory of evolution. I do not wish to live in a Darwinian world. It's a very unpleasant world. It's a thoroughly unpleasant world, not the kind of world we wish to live in. So let us construct the kind of society in which we wish to live, which will be a non-Darwinian society, with a sort of society which, is, which departs from Darwinian principles. A society that was based on Darwinian principles would be a ruthless free market economy in which the rich trample the poor. Hitler said it was the duty of the strong to trample the weak. He said, I have the right to exterminate an inferior race that breed like the vermin. How can multi-million dollar corporations package a food product and not know what is in the ingredients? One consumable food product by itself may not be enough to cause a great deal of damage to the human body, but what about a combination of food products with chemical ingredients? Formaldehyde, for example, regularly popped up in milk to keep it from souring. Yeah, the known carcinogen that we use to preserve dead bodies. And you'd also often find borax, a mineral that contains sodium and boron, in meat. It made the meat firmer, which made it seem fresher, especially when combined with an extra pinch of salt and red food color. Today, we know that eating borax can cause tissue damage, which can eventually lead to fun things like vomiting and convulsions. In January of 2008, that a major study found that nearly a third of the 55 popular brand name foods and beverage products were filled with mercury, despite the fact that the people of Europe for over 20 years have fought off all the genetically modified wheat and corn and other crops being planted in their nation. Now the EU is buckled and is accepting it. The United States is literally a testing ground for all of this. It's just automatically approved. And the people that work for these corporations, they're compartmentalized. They don't know what's going on. The people that work at these stores, they have no idea what's happening. This is affecting all of us. This is hurting everyone. Many different forms of cancer are growing by thousands of percentage points. Uh, diabetes, all these different diseases. And in major studies, it's all been linked to the toxic additives that are in our food, our water. Most cereal brands advertise that it's enriched with all these vitamins and minerals, making it a complete and balanced breakfast. 
But that is far from the truth. Most cereal is made through a process called extrusion, through which all the nutrients are basically sucked out and to compensate, chemically modified vitamins and minerals are added in later so they can slap that label on them. It gets worse. Because of how cereal is made, it contains phytic acid, which is known as an anti-nutrient because it actually blocks the absorption of vitamins and minerals. If it doesn't go bad, it's most likely bad for you. Food that doesn't spoil is probably some Franken food that you probably shouldn't be eating. The GMOs loaded in cereal are very bad for digestion, liver function, and even fertility. Also, most cereals contain loads of sugar. I'm not here to preach or tell anyone what to do. You all can do whatever you want. I'm just sharing information and telling you the truth. Take it or leave it. Take a look at my other videos. I don't grandstand for applause from anyone. I do the work and share truth as I see it, whether it's popular or not. In this day and age, we are so far removed from the making of our foods and this is not a good thing. We blindly trust companies who don't have our best interest in mind to give us everything. Observe how things are done. Decade after decade, some of the worst foods imaginable are advertised intensely toward children right under our noses, securing another generation of the institutionalized. So we want to know how many people know that this toxic chemical is in all their children's favorite cereal. Are any of these your favorite cereals? Yes. Yeah. Which one? Yes, Reese's uh, Puffs. Do you know what TSP is? No, I don't. Trisodium phosphate? Uh-oh. It's very not good for you. Not good it's for you. you use it for cleaning. Would you eat that? No. I don't know what it is. It's degreaser. It's paint remover. Do you know that's in your cereal? It's already an ingredient. Serious? Yep. And all three of these. Trisodium phosphate, right there. Right there, wow. wow. I was actually quite surprised that there's TSP in the cereal. And it says, a warning, harmful if swallowed. Would you still eat this cereal right now if I put that on top? This is the melted ice cream. So not only does it not melt, not only does it have mold, but the smell that that is kicking off is terrible. It's got some kind of sick bile liquid floating around it, and I hope to you're not eating this crap. We have got to be very responsible and educated consumers in this day and age. We can't keep sucking down the products these companies throw at us because many of the foods they make readily available for us give us diseases and make us ill. But they will never tell you that. If you just search the term food irradiation, you'll learn the EPA approved this in the last decade and they're irradiating beef, poultry, fish, uh, produce, and it destroys the food value. It breaks the ring structures in the food, and it's basically dead food you're now eating, and it loses most of its nutritional value. The list just goes on and on and on. There are hundreds of petrochemical distillates, the leftovers of oil uh, refining, that are put as, quote, flavor enhancers and things to... A preserve food as preservatives that are highly toxic and that's that processed food taste 2006 the New York Times wrote the article has politics contaminated the food supply in it they said more than 200 people in 26 states were sickened and three people were killed by spinach contaminated with E. coli at least 183 people in 21 states got salmonella from tainted tomatoes served at restaurants. And more than 160 people in New York, New Jersey, and other states were sickened with E. coli after eating at Taco Bell restaurants. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 76 million Americans are sickened, 325,000 are hospitalized, and 5,000 die each year because of something they ate. If I sprinkled trisodium phosphate on my kid's cereal, if I put this on there, I would go to prison for poisoning my children. But yet, they're putting it in our cereals for our kids to eat. Do you still want to eat the cereal now? No. No. You guys, yeah. <laughs> no. No. I wouldn't. No. no. You guys.
guys, we need to stand up for something here. And this is one thing to stand up for. Let's speak for those children that can't speak for themselves because this is an outrage. I don't care what it gets rated as or anything. It's a carcinogen that eats away paint. It'll even say that it eats away aluminums. It will etch glass. And we're putting it in our food? Who thought of this idea? Why are there a ton of chemicals in your food products? Not to mention Monsanto spraying almost everything grown and ingested by humans in the United States. When we put together corn flakes and water, and they're all mixed and crunched up together, and we slosh it all around, you will eventually see black iron filings collect on top of this magnet. It's the same as this magnet. We see this green. Here's the green side of this magnet. And you see this enormous amount of metallic filings here. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little water on this. Take the magnet away. Now we have the filings on the paper. I'm going to take a magnet underneath the table and see how the filings stand up. We push them over from one side to the other. If I can use a magnet to move cereal across water, there's metal in it. A supposedly anonymous State Department official even retorted that when it comes to genetically modified food aid, quote, beggars can't be choosers. Zimbabwe's refusal of GM food rations led to them being delivered in Mexico and other Latin American countries. Each day in over 124 million U.S. households, poison is brought to the dinner table. We are completely brainwashed with so many things right now. Wake up and snap out of it. Start reading your labels and re-examining the many things you call food. A lot of antibiotics go into meat. Food companies are hiding sugar. Your shrimps are dirty. Many cheese products aren't cheese. Pregnant pigs are confined to tiny crates. They're selling you fake fiber. Male chicks are ground up alive. Sure enough, brainwashed people will come around to defend their favorite brands and even paid trolls hired by these industries will come around to say, I don't know what I'm talking about and so on and so forth. Typical fools, agents, and tools will do what they do. If you're outraged, share this with everybody because we need to get this out of the cabinets of our kids are eating out of. We need to get it out now. Do this, act on it, share it with everybody you know because this is wrong. On September 11th, 2001, 3,000 Americans were killed by terrorists. Our government spent millions of dollars trying to hunt them down and kill them, right? You know what else happened on September 11th, 2001? 4,500 Americans were killed by abortion. Nobody said a word. It happened again on September 12th and September 13th and the 14th and the 15th and every day since then it's going to happen again tomorrow. What are we doing, folks? Are we nuts? Margaret Sanger started a group called Planned Parenthood. The purpose of Planned Parenthood was to eliminate the inferior species. She thought the Jews, Orientals, and Blacks were human weeds. We could spend hours on Margaret Sanger. Get our videotape uh, college class, CLC 103, I believe, where we cover this. Planned Parenthood published a document in 1952 where they said, an abortion requires an operation. It kills the life of a baby after it has begun. Boy, Planned Parenthood changed their tune in the last 40 years, haven't they? Bible says, these six things doth the Lord hate, hands that shed innocent blood. Cursed be he that taketh reward that shed innocent blood. And all the people shall say, Amen. Amen. It's a more dangerous world than you think. And we all must do our part to be knowledgeable, to better protect ourselves and our families. Ignorance comes with a price.
Well, pretty good. I want to change one part here. Has led to them being delivered in that. This part here. Care what gets rated as or anything. It's a carcinogen that eats away paint. It'll even say that it eats away aluminum. It will etch glass. And we're putting it in our food? Who thought of this idea? Wow. Because this is an out to stand up for. Let's speak for those children that can't You guys, we need to stand up for No. It's to stand up to speak for themselves. I'm going to cut this out. Stick it here. He's talking about standing up for kids. What's this one here? Wait, share this with everybody. Get it out now. Share it with everybody. Okay, we can move him over here. From back there. No. If you're outraged, share this with everybody. Because no. If you're outraged, share this with everybody. Because we need to get this out. You know, is wrong. I don't care what it gets. It will this clip can go right here. I don't care what. And tools will do what they do. I don't care what it gets rated as or anything. It's a carcinogen that eats away paint. This idea. You guys, we need to stand. This idea. You guys, we need to stand up for something here. An outrage. For themselves, because this is an outrage. On September 11th, because this is an outrage. On September 11th, this is an outrage. On September 11th, 2001. 3,000 Americans were killed by terror. Here we go. <clears throat> Is wrong. Why are the top? Is wrong. Why are the top of the pen? Whoops. Why are the top? Is wrong. Why are the top of the pen? Is wrong. Whoops. Did it redo? Mm. Cut this. Boom. Stretch that out. Drag that here. Delete that. Bring this down. Is wrong. Why on the tumble? Chemicals. Is wrong. Why on the tongue? Is wrong. Why on the tongue of chemicals in your food products? When we put together. When we put together. I think the, I think this, uh, anonymous clip needs to go somewhere else. Our ground up alive. Sure enough. Brainwash. I feel like it should go here, but I'm not sure about that just yet. It's in the United States. Sure enough. Ingested by humans in the United States. Sure enough, brainwashed people will come around to defend their people. Not alive. Why are the tongue of Kennedy? Food. A lot of things you call food. Let's see if we can move this closer. Is wrong. Because this. Is wrong. A lot of antibiotics go into meat. Food help. Hmm. I don't even know if I want to keep this clip. Here, 
Where'd she go? A lot of antibiotics go into meat. Food companies are hiding sugar. Your shrimps are dirty. Many cheese products aren't cheese. Pregnant pigs are confined to tiny crates. They're selling you fake fiber. Male chicks are ground up alive. A supposedly anonymous State Department official even... When we put together corn flakes... <coughs> When we put together is wrong. When we put together cornflakes and water and and re-examine the, the many things you call food. Why are the top? We are completely brainwashed. American countries. Each day we are was brought to the dinner table. We are completely each day in the courts. Poison was brought to the dinner table. We I am the top in Monsanto spraying almost everything grown and ingested by humans and Alright, this one needs to switch maybe with this one. Why are the tongue of Urban countries. Why are there countries? Why are there tons of chemicals in your food products? Eggs. Ones in the United States. We are con. Almost everything grown and ingested by humans in the United States. We are yeah. completely brainwashed with so many things right now. Wake up and snap out of it. Start reading your labels and re-examine the many things you call all food. Each day there are 124 million many things Eating your out of so many are we are completely even brand do what they do. I don't care what it gets rated as or <coughs> this United States. We are completely brainwashed with Latin American countries. Why are there tons of chemicals in your food product? Poison. It's... Who thought of this idea? But we'll do what they do. You guys, we... If they do. You guys, we need to stay up this idea. Sure enough. Brainwashed people will come around to defend their favorite brands and even paid trolls hired by brought to the table. I don't care what it gets rated as or anything. It's a carcinogen that eats away paint. It'll even say that it eats away aluminum. If Why are there ton of Latin American countries? Why are there ton of chemicals in your food products? Not to mention Monsanto spraying almost everything grown and ingested by humans in the United States. Monsanto's secret. We are labels and re exam What is Monsanto's secret? We better find out what Monsanto's secret is. Monsanto's secret. a photographer, an editor, and a designer.
U.S. lawyers say they have explosive documents about crisis hit agribusiness giant Monsanto and their affairs in Europe. Those involved in a recent lawsuit resulting in the firm being ordered to pay millions of dollars to a man dying of cancer have been addressing a European Parliament special committee. We have the tip of the iceberg. And in fact, we have documents now in our possession, several hundred documents that have not been declassified, and some of those are explosive. And many of them are pertinent to what happened to what Monsanto did here in Europe. So I think, and that's just the beginning. Beyond the environmental battle, what's happened also raises the issue of transparency. For one MEP, the US legal battle is also one for democracy. They are fighting a fight for more democracy and for Hmm. I just need something short. Monsanto introduced the insect resistancy technology more than a dozen years ago in collaboration so with so the actually actually modified seeds has been slowing since 2013, partly due to an international backlash against GMOs. Opponents claim the crops can damage the environment and potentially harm human health. Union countries have moved to that remains uncertain. The first danger is pesticides and using other methods like tillage to help slow resistance among bugs and weeds. India's highest court is currently hearing a Well... Ten. Top ten. This event is for people that want to get in. I'm trying to find that one clip, this one clip. Fruits are dirty, not fine grades. It's going to me. Food companies are hiding sugar. Your shrimps are dirty. Many cheese products aren't cheap. A lot of antibiotics go to me. Food food companies are hiding sugar. Your shrimps for oh my goodness I don't even want to know gummy I can't find the, uh, I can't find what I'm looking for. Hmm, look at this. 
this. You low-life scum. Anniston, Alabama, a small town in the northeastern part of the state that sprang up in the 1880s as a quote-unquote model city. Yeah, along with Agent Orange and Roundup, Monsanto produced pretty much all of the 1.25 billion pounds of PCBs sold in the U.S. And much like Agent Orange and Roundup, PCBs have been linked to everything from cancer to autoimmune disorders to the mass die-off of fish and wildlife in contaminated areas. All right, I think I found what I needed. <clears throat> Oh, I should have checked that, but never mind. It's fine. We're good. We are good. We are the Lone Ranger here. I need sleep too. Three, four, five, six, seven. I need to get five hours of sleep. Show in folder. Show in folder. This one. Then also. Here you are, show and folder. I think I just put that over my evolution clips. I just did, didn't I? Smack over it. So, samples. Monsanto. Monsanto. This one. Okay. Needed to adjust 10, 11, 11, 12, 12. some volumes I saw earlier. Are, are dirty. dirty. Many cheese products aren't cheese. Pregnant pigs are confined to tiny crates. They're selling you fake fiber. Male chicks are ground up. Pregnant pigs are confined. Right click paste attributes. Confined to tiny crates. They're selling you fake fiber. Male chicks are ground up alive. I suppose. A lot of antibiotics. Uh, upward six. Copy. Highlight all these. Right click. Remove effects. Click OK. Right click. Paste. Biotics go to me. Food companies are hiding sugar. Your shrimps are dirty. Many cheese products aren't cheese. Pregnant pigs are confined to tiny crates. They're selling you fake fiber. Mel. Over here, this guy. So not only does it not melt, not only is that mold, but the smell that is kicking off is. These can crank up. You're not eating this. Cr this can all get cranked up, along with this one. Right-click, paste attributes. Eating this crap. Mold, but the smell that is kicking off is terrible. It's got some kind of sick. So not only does, so not only does it not melt, not only is that mold. A supposedly a non. Terrible. Like Parathyadav, many Indian cotton farmers grow the genetically modified variety of cotton seed known as BT cotton. U.S. based biotech giant Monsanto. Cotton seed known as BT cotton. US based biotech giant Monsanto. US based biotech giant Monsanto introduced the insect resistant seed technology more than a dozen years ago in collaboration with the Indian seed company Mahiko. Today, the two companies want to sell India's farmers genetically modified seeds for food crops too. This facility in Jalna is running trials for several kinds of crops. Team, partly due to any remain stuck in regulatory to win Indian government. But after a decade of the company's efforts to win Indian government approval for GMO food crops, in collaboration with the Santo introduced the insect resistant seed technology more than a dozen years ago in collaboration years ago but after a decade of the more than a dozen years ago but after the technology technology but after a decade of the company's efforts to win Indian government approval for GMO food crops the seeds remain stuck in regulatory limbo. 
growth in global sales of genetically modified seeds has been slowing since 2013, partly due to an international backlash against GMOs. Opponents claim the crops can damage the environment and potentially harm human health. Proponents reject the assertions. The US Food and Drug Administration, the World Health Organization, and the European Commission have concluded GMOs are safe to eat. Hmm. Proponents reject the the US, the US Food and Drug Administration, the World Health Organization, and the European Commission have concluded GMOs are safe to eat. But the pushback has swept the world. More than half of European Union countries have moved to bar cultivation of all genetically engineered crops, and their future in Russia and China remains uncertain. The first danger of GMOs is the concentration of seed supply. Second is the environmental impact. The BT is failing to control pests as created, so pests, herbicide tolerant crops have created super weeds. Monsanto says it recommends rotating pesticides and using other methods like tillage to help slow resistance among bugs and weeds. India's highest court is currently hearing a petition challenging the testing and introduction of GMO food crops. Despite the opposition, Monsanto, Mahiko and other companies are still betting on India. They say research proves biotech crops are safe. There is no such thing 100% risk free, but you can assess the risk. Uh, in Here we go. Safe. Despite the, the first danger, the first is uncertain. Boom, take this out. I don't need any of this. It's right here, that's what we need. That's what we need. We don't need any of this. Do you speak in? Insect resistance technology, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the World Health Organization, but the space biotech giant Monsanto oh, a struggle with increasing pest attacks. Uh, in in Some Indian farmers say that pest resistant plants are showing their limits as farmers struggle with increasing pest attacks on their BT cotton crops. All right, we don't need that. We're going to put all this in a spot that should be right about here-ish. And also, a lot of antibiotics go into meat. Food companies are this clip can go. Here, Mexico, and other Latin American countries. You guys, we need to stand up. A supposedly anonymous State Department official. Why are there two? So it's great. This idea. Sure enough, great watch do what they do. U.S. based biotech giant Monsanto introduced the insect resistance technology, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The World Health Organization and the European Commission have concluded GMOs are safe to eat. But the pushback has swept the world. More than half of China remains uncertain. Despite the opposition, Monsanto. This one can go here. Monsanto, Mahiko, and other companies. Certain. Despite the opposition, Monsanto. China remains uncertain. Despite the opposition, Despite the opposition, Monsanto, Mahiko, and other companies are safe. A supposedly anonymous countries. You guys, we the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Here we go. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Do what they do. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The do what they do. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Tools will. Typical fools, agents, and tools will do what they do. The U.S. will do what they do. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration. 
the UN. They'll do what they do. Oh, what just happened? They do. They will do what they do. The UN. They'll do what they do. The U. Do what they do. The U.S. Will do what they do. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the World Health Organization. Illuminati. of this idea. Sure enough, brainwashed people will come around. Sure enough, brainwashed people will come. Enough. Brainwashed people will come around to defend their favorite brands and even hate the insect resistance seek technology. More than a dozen years ago, in collaboration with the Indian seed company Mahiko. Today, the two companies want to sell India's farmers genetically modified seed. modified seeds for, for food crops too. This facility in Jalna is running trials for several kinds of crops, including rice, wheat, and okra. What's the other clip I had? This one. And the trajectory of that model city, biophenols. Biophenols, all of the 1.25 billion pounds of PCB is sold in the Pretty much all of the 1.25 orange you round up. Yeah, along with Agent Orange, you round up. Monsanto produced pretty much. In fact, you may have heard of the company that was making them, Monsanto. Yeah, along, along with Agent Orange, biophenols. Biophenols? Someone else can correct me on that. In fact, you may have heard of the company that was making them, Monsanto. Monsanto. Yeah, along, along with Agent Orange, Orange you round up Monsanto. And much like Agent Orange and Roundup, PCBs have been linked to everything from cancer to autoimmune disorders to the mass die-off of fish and wildlife in contaminated areas. Before last week, the story was just just kind of another old corporate malfeasance story stuck in the courts of a paid-off justice system, flanked by dying people and destroyed natural habitats. But last week, a tiny little clause brought this issue into the national spotlight. Before I dig into the present, let's take a quick look at the past so you know what the fuck the context is. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're not gonna be using your video. Santo's own scientists who tested PCBs on lab oil in the water. Take this memo from one of Monsanto's own scientists who tested PCBs on lab animals and fish. The PCBs are exhibiting a greater degree of toxicity than we had anticipated. Doses which were believed to be okay produced 100% kill. So Monsanto did what any self-respecting corporation would do, kept that shit quiet and kept the profits coming. As the kept the profits coming. Santa was aware that PCBs were harmful to workers in the fact search showed that as soon as 1935, Monsanto was aware that internal memos and indeed their own records to the areas around the factory, including the air scientists who test coming for nearly 40 years. There's unfiltered and untreated as the chemical in industry often kept, kept the profits coming. Whoops. Cap, cap that shit. Quiet and cap that shit. Quiet and cap. Cap off it's coming. Whoops. Cap that shit. Cap that shit. Quiet and cap the profits coming. As the chemical in industry archives noted in their research on this case, for nearly 40 years, unfiltered and untreated PCB waste was discharged directly into streams or dumped in landfills around town. Monsanto employees also carried the chemicals sold under the brand name Aragor home on their work clothes. 
And while Monsanto stopped manufacturing PCBs in Anniston in 1971, the plant continued to discharge smaller quantities of PCBs in its waste as a result of continued production of related compounds. Now, nickname Aragor, home Monsanto directly into streams or dumped in landfills around town. Now, fast forward to 2000, the people of Anston did win a $700 million settlement against Monsanto. Opposing the people of Anston did win 2000, the people of Anston The people of Anston did win a $700 million settlement against Monsanto in order to assist in cleanup and health care costs, which sounds like a lot to you and me, but to Monsanto, it's like a fraction of the about $20 billion that they make in an average year. I don't know what fraction that is, but it's a small one. And even still, Monsanto has predictably done all in their power to weasel out of this legal mandate spending twice as much money on lawyers as they have on cleanup. And this is just the case of, case of Aniston, as the New York Times, as they have on cleanup. So you can weasel out of this legal mandate. You and me, but to Monsanto, it's like a fraction of the about $20 billion that they make in an average year. I don't know make it an average year. I don't know what fraction. Action that is as much money on Lord Pepper has predictably done. And even still, Monsanto up the bill into streams or dumped in landfills around town. And the people of Anniston did win a produced 100% kill. So Monsanto did what any self respecting corporate 100% kill. around the factory, including the air, the soil, and the water. Monsanto was aware that PCBs were harmful to workers in the factory. Memos and indeed their own research show that as soon as 1935, Monsanto was aware that PCBs were harmful. Memos and indeed their own research show that as soon as 1935, show that as PCBs were harmful. Take this memo life in contaminated areas. As soon as 1935, Monsanto was aware that PCBs were harmful, as they do report well. As the New York Times, the case of, case of Aniston, as the New York battle is suddenly a current news story, which is in dire need of reform, even banned or restricted. So yeah, that all sounds like a case. This clause would block PCB costs, told the New York Times, AIDS have the fucking Okay. I think we had enough of you. Thank you for your input. In collaboration with the EDS, Monsanto introduced the in insect resistance technology more than a dozen years ago. In collaboration, U.S.-based biotech giant Monsanto introduced the insect resistance technology more than a dozen years ago. Let's see. On lawyers, as they have on cleanup. Why are the ton of chemicals? So they make it an average year. Monsanto has predictably. Fake fiber. Male chicks are ground up alive. US based biotech giant Monsanto introduced the insect resistance technology more than a dozen years ago. Yeah, along with Agent Orange and Roundup, Monsanto produced pretty much all of the 1.25 billion pounds of PCBs sold in the US. And much like Agent Orange and Roundup, PCBs have been linked to everything from cancer to autoimmune d disorders to the mass die off of fish and wildlife in contaminated areas. As soon as 1935, Monsanto was aware that PCBs. As soon as 1935, areas. As soon as 1935, Monsanto was aware that PCBs were harmful. Take this memo from one of Monsanto's own scientists who tested PCBs on lab animals and fish. The PCBs, the PCBs are exhibiting a greater degree of toxicity. 
take this memo from one of Monsanto's own scientists who tested PCBs on lab animals and fish. The PCBs are exhibited. animals and fish. The PCBs are exhibiting a greater fish. The PCBs are exhibiting a greater degree of and fish. The PCBs are exhibiting a greater degree of toxicity than we had anticipated. Doses which were believed to be okay produced a hundred anticipated. Doses which were believed to be okay produced 100% kill. So Monsanto did what any self-respecting corporation would do, kept that <laughs> quiet and kept that <laughs> quiet, kept that <laughs> quiet and kept the profits coming. As the chemical in industry archives noted in their research on this case, for nearly 40 years, unfilled and fish. The PCBs are exhibiting a greater degree of toxicity than we had anticipated. Doses which were both aware that PCBs were harmful. Take this memo from one of Monsanto's own. Take this memo from one of Monsanto's own. Take this memo from one of Monsanto's As soon as 1935, and wildlife in contaminated areas. As soon as 1935, areas. Take this memo from one of Monsanto's own scientists who wildlife in contaminated areas. Take this memo areas. Contaminated areas. Take this memo areas. areas. Take this memo from one of Monsanto's own scientists who tested PCBs on lab animals. Own committed areas. From one of Monsanto's own scientists who tested PCBs on lab animals and fish. The PCBs are exhibiting a greater degree of toxicity than we had anticipated. Doses which were believed to be okay produced 100% kill. So Monsanto did what any self-respecting corporation would do, kept that <laughs> quiet and kept the profits coming. For nearly 40 years, unfiltered and untreated PCB waste was discharged directly into streams or dumped in landfills around town. And the people of Aniston did win a or dumped in landfills around town. And the people of Aniston The people of Aniston did win a town. The people of Aniston did win a seven hundred town. The people of Aniston did win a town. The people of Aniston did win a seven hundred million. People of Aniston did win a seven hundred million dollar settlement against Monsanto in order to assist in cleanup and health care costs, which. Sounds, Sounds like, like a lot to you and me, but to Monsanto, it's like a fraction of the about $20 billion they make in an average year. Monsanto has predictably done all in their power to protect an average year. Monsanto has they make an average year. Monsanto they make an average year. Monsanto has Make an average year. Monsanto has dollars they make an average year. Dollars they make an average year. Monsanto has predictably done all in their power to weasel out as they have on cleanup. Why are there a ton of chemicals in your food products? Not to states. We are completely. We are completely brainwashed. Kept that quiet and kept the profit. 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 Kept that quiet and
that the contaminated Duke Corporation would do. Kept that <laughs> quiet and kept the profits coming for nearly 40 years. Monsanto introduced Ever. Male chicks are ground up a lot of antibiotics. Alive. U.S. based biotech giant Monsanto introduced the insect. Where's my anonymous? Where's my anonymous? Here it is. You will soon by yourself. May not come with the ingredient. Russians, package of food products. Male chicks are ground up a lot. You is alive. Why are there a ton of chemicals in your food products? Not to mention Monsanto spraying almost everything grown and ingested by humans in the United States. U.S. based biotech giant. There you go. Alive. Why are there a ton So he's talking about Monsanto. And they're talking about Monsanto, and then they're talking about Monsanto. Three in a row. Life. Why are there a ton of chemicals in your food products? Not to mention Monsanto spraying almost everything grown and ingested by humans in the United States. U.S. based biotech giant Monsanto introduced the insect resistant seed technology think we're done. more than a dozen years ago. Yeah, along with Agent Orange and Roundup, Monsanto produced pretty much all of the one. I think we're done, and we are at a. 15 minute mark. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good to go, son. Man, I think it's good to go. I don't even want to do a run through again. Pretty sure it's good to go. Persons. So we checked all the volumes. We fixed up all the volumes. Only other thing is to run like a sharpener over the top of everything which I don't know if it needs um, we could run an adjustment layer over the top and we'll go to our favorite little settings which is going to be a our basic settings fast color corrector on sharp mask fast color corrector we can crunch lows a little pop mids a little pop um, saturation a little the unsharp mass we can pop the radius to about three and then if we were to take it off and on off on take it off put it on take it off put it on just pops a little more color and contrast into it take it off put it on off on I wonder if we take this and we hit the white if it did anything did it do anything let's undo that real quick did not really do anything Off, on, off, on. We 
and we can make our radius about two. Oh, 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 oh. Off, on, off, on. A little too saturated. Let's try 110. Try 111. Try the dark level 10. export this and hopefully it'll be good by tomorrow. On, off, on, off, on, off, on. I'm gonna drop that down. I'm looking at the brightness. Oh my goodness. One point one. Take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. Just pops a little more. Take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. I don't know if we need the um, color corrector. Kind of, maybe it's just too saturated. 107. The blacks can drop to 7. Take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. It's just doing very little bit. Off, on, off, on. Maybe we can crunch blacks a little more. Eight. You know, I'm kind of liking it better without the effect. Everything looks more natural. I'm not going to use it. Actually, I'm going to use the sharpener. I'm just going to take off the color corrector and not bother with it. Sharpener, I think, is okay. Oh, I think it's a little sharper. It's not gonna help some clips. Let's see if it helps the text. Mm, a little bit. Let's drop it to 40. Put this on 3. It's good enough. Good enough. can't really fix a lot of this stuff because it just it is what it is but now you can see if you actually look at that text there and you put it on and off on it sharpened it so we're gonna leave it like that let's go ahead and export this pretty sure it's done pretty sure it's done Save it. Let's export it. It's called what was it called? Eugenics. Eugenics. <laughs> <sighs> I'd 
in there. Let's just export it. Take it too long. H264. All right, guys, that's it. Show's over. I know it's been so entertaining that nobody's watching and nobody cares. But I don't care either. I just want to document all the time I waste. All right, but for real, I'm too tired to just keep my eyes open and I gotta be up in a few hours to work another full day, so God bless you and good night.